Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret. One of the main teachings of Scripture is simply put, repent and live. Unless you repent, you will all likewise perish, Jesus said. The first words that Peter spoke on the day of Pentecost, I should say in his first sermon, when the convicted sinners said, what should we do? What do we need to do? He said, repent. And I don't have to tell you that there are plenty of spiritual phonies in the world today. There are people who proclaim messages in the name of the Lord, but what they say has nothing in the world to do with God or the Word of God. They teach lies. They are contributing, therefore, to the damnation of countless souls. Sometimes their preaching appeals to the sinful nature of man. It makes them feel comfortable in their sin. But it's a false comfort. It's a deadly comfort, like the Pharisees, who Jesus rebuked, saying, You travel over land and sea to win a single convert, and when he becomes one, you make him twice as much a son of hell as you are. What's their message today? Their message is, Don't worry about your sin. It's okay. God understands. You played the, prayed the sinner's prayer, didn't you? Well, th there you go. God understands. You live in sin? Well, you're just a carnal Christian. You're saved, but you won't get a lot of rewards after you die. Just fine. It's fine. Don't worry about your sin. It's okay. God understands. He'll overlook them. I want you to know that anyone who says that is either deceived or he is a liar. But in either case, he shouldn't be teaching in church or calling himself a minister or Bible teacher. He's either deceived or he's a liar. And I know that's the case because the Word of God says in Acts 17.30, God now commands all people everywhere to repent. What are you going to do with that? Oh, I know they'll find some way to explain it away. Sort of that it, it fits your theology. And you make everybody in the pews comfortable so that they keep coming. Because if you said what God said here and expounded on it or even spoke it with authority, God now commands all people everywhere to repent, you'd lose 80% of your congregation or 80% of your radio audience because they're a bunch of lukewarm, nominal Christians, at best, who want to have their ears tickled, just like the Bible said would happen in the last days. What God is saying is that your sin is not okay. He does not overlook them. And you better start worrying about them, because God commands you to repent. He's not suggesting that you repent. He's not hinting that it might be a good idea. He's not submitting the idea of repentance to you for your approval. The God who created you is demanding that you repent. The God who owns you is charging you to repent. The Lord Jesus died on the cross for your sins. Jesus paid the penalty for your sins. You can take possession of the salvation that he offers right now today. All you have to do is repent and receive him as Lord and Savior. Study all of the Bible with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose from four complete series going through the whole Bible verse by verse. If you'd like to be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse, then pray for me and God's Word. That makes you an immediate part of this ministry, and I can't tell you how important that is. Also, when you take a break from studying with me, go to the front page at thebibleversebyverse.com and prayerfully give us a Lord may lead. That also makes you a part of this ministry. Until next time, Michael Moret for Coffee Break. So long.